Have a triumphant day, everyone! Hello, Mangaka French fries! What's up, what's up? Here we back again to talk with our new topic of the day. This is again the online teacher blog, all, or also what we know as the OTB channel. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Shout out to all our additional 53 subscribers that totaled into 154 subscribers, 5,328 viewers and likers that continually support in our YouTube channel. Thank you so much guys and may the Lord Christ pour out more blessings upon you. And also shout out to our top Geography is here from Philippines, 72.6%, Serbia 2.7%, Azerbaijan 0.2%, from India 0.2%, Taiwan 0.2%, and for female 56.4%, male 43.6%. Thank you so much guys for continually and undying support here in our youtube channel so this is again teacher penguin and we have a fun facts trivia about penguin did you know that penguins cannot fly but they can swim and their eyes work best in water all right so this is again teacher penguin and we have another new topic of the day which is entitled Bureau Corps hiring recruitment cycle requirements for submission and minimum qualifications and this is our topic of the day but before we proceed please don't forget to click the notification bell icon for you to be more updated in our channel subscribe button like and a share time to start so let's discuss first the minimum qualifications for BCOR. Prior to submission of folders, applicants must secure the following number one BR number or Bureau of Internal Revenue number, number two, Bug Ebig number, three, Phil Health number. Then we have another minimum qualifications here number one a citizen of the republic of the philippines number two a person of good moral character three must possess a baccalaureate degree from a recognized learning institution four must possess the appropriate civil service eligibility five must not have been dishonorably discharged or dismissed from costs or for costs from previous employment number six must not have been convicted by final judgment of an offense or a crime involving moral torpitude. Seven must not less than 21 or not more than 40 years old of age. And of course, must not at least or must be at least one meter and 62 centimeters, 1.2, uh, 62 meters in height for male and one meter and 57 centimeters or 1.57 meters for female provided that a waiver issued by the national commission of indigenous peoples in CIP for height and age requirements is granted to applicants belonging to the cultural communities the age limit is pair ra or public at 10575 or the Bureau of Corrections Act of 2013 is 40 years old. However, those above 36 years old of age will have a sign to sign a waiver agreeing that they may not be able to qualify for the for, full requir uh, I mean to qualify for the full retirement benefits afforded to a uniform officer of BUCOR. So let's discuss now about BUCOR uh, recruitment cycle 2021 requirements for submission. We have the correction officer applicants, long white folder for corrections technical officer applicants, long brown folder for non commissioned personal applicants, long yellow folder. For number one folder for application tab, letter A, letter of intent, B, 
five original notarized original copies of Dooley, accomplished the CSC Form 212 revised 2017, personal data sheet referred to guide to filing out the PDS, letter C, two copies of authenticated certification of eligibility, CSC, PRC, and its official receipt, letter D, authenticated copy of transcript of records, and authenticated certification from the school or CHED, letter E, original PSA birth certificate, original receipt to be presented, letter F, original PSA marriage certificate if applicable, letter G, original PSA birth certificate of children if applicable, H, one valid original NBA clearance, one I, one valid PNP directorate for intelligence or DA clearance from CAMCRAME. Number two folder for BUCOR IID, letter A, duly properly accomplished personal data sheet, or what we know as PDS, must be notarized. Please refer to guide to filing out the personal data sheet. Letter A, original copies of clearances from the following agencies. Number one, one in bear clearance. Number two, one PNP directorate for intelligence or data clearance. Three, one local police clearance. Four, one barangay clearance. Five, one RTC MTC persecution clearances. CPSA birth certificate. DPSA marriage certificate of married. E original, uh, I mean education certificates. F certificate of employment if previously employed. D passport if any. H notarized waiver authority to allow this agency to undergo BI. I sketch of house residence from landmarks. J two pieces of latest color two by two pictures not Photoshop. Requirements C to G must be submitted as photocopies. So it can be photocopies, the letter C which are birth certificate, marriage certificate, education certificate, certificate of employment and passport. So it's okay to be to have a photocopies. Number three folder for the selection board, A, 12 photocopies of the original personal data sheet of PDS. Four folder for attestation, A, notarized and duly accomplished CSE form 2 and 2 revised 2017. B, authenticated certification of eligibility or CSC PRC. Only folders one and two are to be initially submitted for the pooling folders three and four are to submit to be submitted at a later announced date subsequent to the results of uh, of the agility examinations so this is the sample of bu core background investigation authorization so you can put here your name the date march uh, i mean month day and year and signature of our printed name so thank you so much for watching guys hope you've learned a lot from our new topic of today which is entitled bigger hiring recruitment cycle requirements for submission and minimum qualifications to the line from the tribe of true the jesus christ be the glory majesty dominion and authority now and forever from the book of revelation chapter 5 verse 6 so enjoy your day and see you soon. Bye.